pretty awesome textbook question coming from someone with a, an issue that I would imagine applies to a lot of people. And just to summarize the issue, we said that we use Inventor to do all of our modeling and our designs because it's legit. The problem is our clients require the final drawing to be in AutoCAD format and we don't really want to export from Inventor to AutoCAD and explode it. So is there any way of taking our Inventor model like this one here and then placing it as a view in an AutoCAD drawing and keeping the link between the Inventor model and the AutoCAD drawing. Yes, there is. There's a lot of ways of doing this. And most of the well-known ways of doing this require that you make an Inventor drawing first, generate Inventor views, and then bring those views into AutoCAD. It's not the best way, in my opinion. It might work for some people in some scenarios, and that's absolutely fine. But this is the best way that I think there is of doing it. So if we head on over to AutoCAD, this for all intents and purposes, could be a client drawing. It's got client dimension styles, annotations. It's got the client border in there. It's 100% AutoCAD. And we want to place the Inventor model in here as a view and then keep the link back to the original Inventor model. So to get this started, we need to do a little bit of prep work first. You don't have to do this bit, but it's recommended if you want to preload your AutoCAD template with the right layers and colors for when the, the Inventor view is brought in. You want it to pre, you, you want to, you want to pre-select what the layers are that it uses for the Inventor views. So go over to Model Space, click the Model tab at the bottom, type in Box, press Return. Right, this is a bit fiddly, but just follow what I do. And then one click, left mouse button, two clicks, and then type in 100, right? It doesn't matter, just type in 100, press return. And then type in view base, all one word, press return. Uh, press return again. Click this square, press return. Press return again. And then place this, right? That just should be following your cursor. Left click on the drawn sheet and then click exit and then move it up to an isometric view left click right click and then enter right so what that's done is it's created two views of a 3d object that were just created in autocad's model space and what it's done in turn if you go to your layer manager right so click layer properties that should bring up your layer palette is it's created two layers called md underscore hidden and md underscore visible if you think and well why couldn't i just don't, don't worry you can't right you try it you'll fail but just don't just don't you can't you can't manually pre-create these layers but these two layers here are what AutoCAD is going to use when you place your inventor model as a view on the AutoCAD sheet so we can go to MD visible which is the main outline of the inventor views and we can change the color of this so when we place the inventor view I want the main lines to be magenta for the hidden lines I want them to be red yeah and then you can change the line thickness so md visible we can make that 0.25 for example and then for the hidden lines they're usually a little bit thinner so we can make those i don't know 0.13 or whatever uh, and then you can change the line types if you want but i'm just going to leave them as standard so these two layers here are what we're going to use for the inventor view right now go back over to watercard and then just select these two views all right so put a window around them press delete go to model space and then just delete your box left click press delete go back to the main sheet and then save right so those layers are now pre-created and they should be there for good as long as you don't purge them out okay we're now ready to place our inventor model into the autocad sheet as a view what you do is you type in view base again press return this time you're going to get a prompt you're going to get a box that says browse to your inventor model so you want to browse through to your inventor model right you want to select iam or ipt depends on what you want to detail up and I'm not 100% sure if you need Inventor installed on your machine for this to work. I would hope not, for reasons again that I don't want to go into because I'll just waffle. But um, I'm hoping you don't need it. Double click, well, in fact, before you double click it, just note on the right hand side how amazing this is. They've allowed you to pre select levels of detail, positional representations, and design views. So my Inventor model, there's two design views one with the assembly painted in black, one with it painted in white. I've got levels of detail, you know, with the feet off and just the feet. And we can place a view at any one of these reps. That's quality. That is pretty quality. Yeah. Round of applause for Autodesk for doing that. That's, that is pretty good. So for the design view, we can bring in, say, the black model. And I'll leave these two as, uh, as master. Press open. <laughs> Look at that. That is amazing. So we're now placing the Inventor model onto the AutoCAD sheet as if we were working in Inventor. So what you then do is uh, you click once, right? And that'll place the view. And then it's almost like you're working in Inventor. Select exit and it'll project it across 
to create either an isometric or a projected view. That is amazing. It really is amazing. So we can click there. We can click up there for an isometric view. And then when you're ready to finish, just right click and then enter. And then it's your views. And because we pre-created the layers, they're now coming in according to our AutoCAD standards. So we've got our purple uh, outlines with our red inner, which you can't see because uh, I don't think I've got hidden lines turned on, which I guess is a good thing to show you next. If you want to start editing the views, we've got almost the entire suite of drawing view edit tools that you would have in Inventor. Double click with the master view and it should activate this drawing view editor panel up here. If it doesn't, mine didn't when I first did this, I had to reinstall AutoCAD. Uh, but you can change the view properties like you were an inventor. So at the moment, we've just got hidden lines. You can change this to be visible and hidden lines. And then that's where you start to see your red dashed lines. The line thickness is a bit, it's a bit too thick on this one, but never mind. It's not a production drawn. Uh, we can change the scale. We can change it from 1 to 10 to whatever, 1 to 20. You've got full control. It's, it's amazing. This is really, really, really impressive. We can change the level of detail. So we've got no feet and <laughs> look at that. That is quality, absolutely quality. And then when you finish, just click okay. And there's your views. Your views are now placed in your AutoCAD sheet. You can move them around by using the middle grip. Uh, if you select this one here, this will change the scale just by using the drop down menu, which is pretty awesome. The uh, the two views that you've projected inherit their properties from the, the main view, the first one that you place, but you can change those independently to have a larger scale for these other views. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's impressive. That's really, really, really impressive. Uh, we can then annotate it up as if it was as if it was an AutoCAD drawn. So, uh, scent lines. We can put scent lines in. Really good. I've got again my line thickness is way off in my line scales, but yeah, look at that. That's really good. That is really, really impressive. So I'll put another scent line on over here if I can just just get it. There we go. And then we can put an annotation between there and there. This should come to two thousand. 2001 okay so it's just a little bit off uh, but there you go what about updating back from the inventor model well well let's save our autocad drone and then go back to inventor let's make a change to the design so we can go to the skeletal model we can change the original sketch which controls the size of the framework let's drop this down to a thousand i don't know why it came down to 2001 that's the first time that's happened now, maybe i've got my center line slightly off i might have selected the the hidden edge, perhaps, when I was creating the center line. Um, so the center line is between the hidden edge and the the real model edge. So we've changed the design. We can save that. We can go back to AutoCAD. Notice it doesn't update, and notice there's no prompts. What you should be able to do, and I'll save you some bother because it doesn't work. It, it didn't work for me. You should just be able to right click the view, and then select Update View. But you can clearly see it's telling me that one view is up to date. It isn't up to date. It really isn't. Up to date. In fact, this is this is killing me. I can't stay. I can't keep that incorrect dimension on. So I'm going to get rid of these two cent lines. I'm going to put them on again because uh, it should say 2000 rather than 2001. And the longer it stays on there, the longer my brain starts to itch. So we'll uh, we'll put this back to what it should be. Dimension between there and there there we go 2000 yep i must have got the hidden line on uh so yeah it's not telling me that the view is out of date even though it is there is a there's there is a command down here you see this little square down here at the bottom right if you right click on that you should just be able to update all views but it's telling me all three views are up to date it's not true so what you all you need to do and it's not really a deal breaker is just shut down the autocad drone and then reopen it and and oh, you might occasionally get this message here where it says the the reference because it's it's behaving almost like an inventor drawn. It needs to reference back to the original models and it uses inventor's project files to do that. So if it can't find a file, just select change the active project file and then browse to whichever project file it was that you were using. In my case, I'm using frame.ipj uh, and then we'll have to uh, we'll have to save that, close it down again and then reopen it. And that should open up and find the files and then update the views. So yeah, it, it AutoCAD references the files using Inventor's project files, which again is really good because some projects can get quite messy. But you can see the views have updated, the annotations stay put. That's amazing. I, I really, 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 really like this. I'm really impressed with it. So well done Autodesk for implementing this. This gives you the full capabilities of utilizing your AutoCAD drafting tools, using your AutoCAD borders, layer types, line styles, colors, fonts, 
plots the lot, but using your invented data as the source for the detailing, which is which is really good. Um, like I said at the start, I'm not sure if you need Inventor on the machine to be able to do this. I would hope not, because you could have a team of people doing the modeling and then passing it over to the draftsman to draft it up in AutoCAD. The, this does beg a lot of questions that people may ask, like, well, why don't you just do it in, just do the drawing in Inventor and then explode it into AutoCAD? Well, you lose the link, you know, why don't you just send the Inventor drawing to the client as a DWG and they can open it up in their AutoCAD? Well, it's not really using the AutoCAD borders in that case or the, the AutoCAD style if you know what i mean it's not it's not going to look like the other autocad drone so this is just a sort of a win all everybody wins with this one if you need to present your drones in autocad format uh, and then it should print off no problem so we can hit plot adobe pdf hit preview and then there you go we can whack that away as uh, as a as a autocad plotted pdf and off you trot so hopefully you found that useful. If you did, press like, share it with your mates that you work with that might find this useful as well. And uh, I'm just waffling again right now. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.